Oh, I've missed the best part of the sunset. The bus is already down here, probably taking some stills. There's a um, thermal spring here as well, so we're going to go visit that at some stage. And a beach out that way. And a plant's thermal pool. We were told um, the ball goes down just over 1,200 feet. It's a long way down. Well, we reckon that the way this works is the bung on the bottom there. This is just poly pipe, and you just twist it off and it'll fill it up. Pretty cool, eh? I don't know how warm it is. Haven't checked it yet. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit of a sulfur smell. It's um, approaching 30, I reckon. And there it is. Yeah, it's not too bad, eh? Sit here quite easily for a little bit, have a beer, or a chardonnay. Google World War II and a planes. Um, I think this used to be a missile testing facility. I haven't done it myself. This centre thing is a nose cone of a missile. How do I know that? Uh, one of the owners told me that. small trucks. I'm told that um, one of these has a radiator cap, I don't know which one, because there's no radiator caps anymore. It used to have a radiator cap, it's at an old Bedford. It had inscribed on it FWD, it didn't stand for four-wheel drive, it standed for trucked without donkey, if you get the gist. It's a radiator, but I don't know where the radiator cap is. Maybe it was souvenired. But anyway, that's what I was told again by the owner. Just come to the beach from uh, Anaplane Station. I'll show you where we left from. Anaplane Station. There. Beach. We've travelled 7.35 kilometres. It's taken us about eight and a half minutes. Rams are wetland, no shell collecting. That's what that sign says. Here, I'll give you a good look. Not sure yet whether I need to uh, let the tyres down or skip into four or not. Find out as we um, head into these dunes, I suppose. shiny down that way so maybe somebody's down that way just leaving the tires down the sand's pretty soft as you can see yeah the tides on its way out I think so I'd rather um, make it easier than make it a struggle oh, I'll take them down to 20 all around I reckon I haven't come too far um, came across these they're like a soft um, coral or a sponge or something and the boss was walking around while I was deflating and looking at all the nice shells around the place some of these are almost translucent uh, she picked up a bit of rubbish too good on her We'll probably just go for a little bit of a drive along here, not too far I think. 
Uh, and we're in full low and I've got the rear locker on as well. Bogged Hilux. She hasn't got much in the way of recovery gear. Just let her tires down there at 40. Put them down to 20. Time for max tracks and I'll let the spade out as well. First time I've used the uh, Max tracks, so that'd be interesting. Come on. It's going to get my car out of the way so she can um, get back out of here. She said she wants to go back home. Husband's out in a muster. So, I suppose not well prepared. Should be almost far enough back for her now. Just turned off uh, Shark Bay Road down to Monkey Mare and um, other places down that way. And this is Useless Loop Road heading towards Dirk Hartog Island, steep point. I've read various reports about the road in here from um, absolutely shocking to um, okay. We're just at the info booth at the moment, so just having a look. Of that. I'll show you on the, the map. Steep Point Campground, it's where we are tonight. Uh, catch the barge across tomorrow, 340 bucks plus 70 bucks for the both of us, 340 bucks back. We're staying there tonight. Campground's in it. Then we're coming up to Notch Point for four nights. Then we're going back to uh, the Eco Lodge down here. We're actually staying at the campground for two nights. Stun come on the dirt on the useless loop road. The first 20 k's were sealed, and probably about the next five k's was res recently graded and just coming in a little bit of loose sand and corrugations now um, the information you get on this place says uh, reduce your tire pressures down to at least 20 pounds so I'm going to take the back ones down to 20 and I'll probably take the front ones down to about 18 I think and I'm actually going to let down the camper trailers to about 15 I think we'll see how we go we're only um, 140 k's to steep point from that Shark Bay Road turn off we got about 118 or something to go at the moment. You can see the condition of this one. I hope you can see the condition of this road here. A bit corrugated, a bit loose. So I might as well make it as comfortable as possible. And the boss is out on a flower quest. So we're stopping every little while so she can take some photos she's out the back there chasing some purple ones and some white ones out there at the moment uh, there'll be a um i probably mentioned this in a previous episode but there'll be uh so i'll drop something on youtube just for the pictures that we've taken of wildflowers um a bit more bitumen happening 
of fuel um, and stuff over at Carter Island. You need to be self-sufficient. Um, limited water supplies over there. Nothing at the camping sites at all. Um, fuel you can pre-order online. Three dollars thirty a litre. I've pre-ordered sixty litres. I've um, crunched numbers and sort of tried to work out how much fuel I'm going to use. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be reasonably close or right in here. I've got uh, two full jerrys, and the tank was pretty full when we turned off into these this road. Uh, water wasn't quite full on the camper trailer or on. Land Cruiser, but I think we've got enough for we're over there for seven nights plus the night tonight at uh, Steep Point, so eight nights. So we should have plenty of water, I think. If not, I'll just um, drink beer and wine. Oh, no, I won't. We've got plenty of soft drink and stuff, so we'll see how we travel with that. Um, sort of figuring on a fuel economy ratio at about, I reckon. Um, 25 to 30 litres 100 k's maybe more maybe more um, this truck drives like a pig in sand when towing as well so I'm expecting we'll get bogged a few times so I'm a bit look over there. apprehensive when um, we get into the sand and my front diff lockers at the moment aren't working just but compounds um, the scare factor. Taking the trial actually down to um, 14 pounds. You know, the boss wants me to have a look at oh, wow. All the yellow and purple in here. Nice scent too. You probably won't be able to see it too well on the GoPro, but I'll show you a close up of these purple ones. These little yellow ones. Uh, the boss will have um, some stills, so let's see if I can steal some of those and drop them in. Quite nice. Our first glimpse of water out here. On the way to looks like there's a shack or something over there on the far side. It's certainly a road in there. It looked like there was a tinny out there too. The other side and have a look, eh? We have plenty of time to get the steep point. It's um, just after 11 o'clock in the morning here. We've got about 90 k's to get to the steep point. So plenty of time. We'll just uh, burn some fuel idling there. But yeah, it doesn't do too much idling. It's not a tinny, it's just rock outcrops. See some more buildings over there as well, besides that one over there. There's a couple of station stays around here. Um, Tamala Station. I don't know if it's open or closed at the moment. I know one of them was trying to get some um, accommodation license or permit from the Western Australian Government, but they needed to uh, update their land use management agreement with the Indigenous people to include camping. And on the website, they suggested um, that'll take about two years. If they're lucky, they didn't sound very happy. Anyhow, that's why it is. I reckon the um, camper trailer tyres could come down even further. I'll take them back down to 10 if we need to. Front tyres on the Lancers look okay. See the back ones are bulging a bit. And I reckon the front ones could come down quite easily. really worried about that back. I don't want to um, spin the tyres on the rims. Oh, I didn't mention it either. Date life, the boss has been cooking. Oh, it smells fantastic. I guess a big chunk of that's going to be um, lunch today with lashings of butter. Just cruising along at about, um, I don't know, between 70 and 84 kilometres an hour at the moment. Google Maps had me turning right just a little bit further back that way. Here we are, reduced tyre pressures. 
steep point. I'll have a read of this and um, here we are here. Sure Google Maps had me coming across there and then back down that way. Looks like we're going to go up here. What I read from that sign or what I take away from that sign is that um, I still recommend that we engage four wheel drive from here. So um, I've already got the hubs locked in. I'll just select high four. I've got about 40 k's I think to steep point. quite used a quarter of a tank yet. I'm hoping that um, I'll have about three quarters of a tank by the time I get the steep point, maybe a little bit less. And uh, when we get there and set up, I'm going to transfer some weight, move some water from the Land Cruiser to the camper and um, empty a jury. So a little bit less weight on the back. Since entering uh, the park, I could say that the road is less ideal. A little bit reminiscent of um, the track off Gibb River Road up to um, Mitchell Falls, particularly from Drysdale River onwards. Yeah, it's a bit ordinary. Um, best we're doing now is about 30 something. It's got overtaken. Had our first glimpse of Dirkart Rock Island. We've still got a way to go. We've got about, I don't know, 14 kilometres to get to Steep Point. You'll see it shortly. The car in front of us, too. That landmass in front of us is actually Dirkart Rock Island. It's not part of main mainland. According to him, our maps will be going along the beach or along the coastal part soon, so I'll have another look down there. Do a car dog island over there. into the ranger station said good day checked in with them we're in uh, the campsite THI to Cardock Island number three only three sites for um, ferry transfers for tomorrow barge picks us up right out the front of where we're camping and we're camping in Shelter Bay which means we don't silly me have to drive all the way to Steep Point a whole bunch of cars coming our way as well so I'm going to just pull over here let them pass and um We're just about there. That's where we are, and we're going up to Shelter Bay. So it's that's a scale of 200, so it's probably less than a kilometre. Pretty happy of that. Really happy. Well, we've made it. Tad under three quarters of a fuel tank. The boss is just setting up inside at the moment. A little bit of a breeze here. Barge picks us up at the front here. Apparently, the other side is site number one, which will be just down here, I think. A bit of wind coming from that direction. I'm guessing the sun sets there. So, when we come back, I'm going to park the Land Cruiser up here just to break some wind. And we can sit down here and not enjoy the sunset because it's over that way. But, yeah, enjoy the view. Hey Paulie, um, yeah, missed your call, sorry about that. You've got Cladisporium resinae in the fuel. It's a nasty thing. Uh, that's a shout out for my mate Paulie. Most West Slip Point, mainland Australia, Slip Point. GPS coordinates. Of course, once we get over there tomorrow, we'll be further west, but it will no longer be mainland. Now, well, you can see this in the camera, but the waves hitting the west coast of the island are just smashing it up. If you know a little bit about Steep Point, or even if you don't, um, it's meant to be a fantastic cliff. 
fishing area. It is, um, there's a campsite just over to the left. Oh, I just missed down there. Boss says the water's a bit chilly. Quite a few starfish around here too. Dead ones. Darker spots out there, I don't know if they're not close but further out. I don't know if they're reef or if they're um, weed beds. I'm hoping weed beds. So, um, I want to get into some squid if I can over here. Quite a few tinnies around. For the ultimate owners who are wondering how you stop your stay legs going into the sand. It's got little bits of square timber there. Tell me. No, I reckon it's just about cactus. And if you saw the um, edge at the back of the cruiser, you could probably say the same thing as well. Let's see how shiny that is there. Enjoying the RV here. Quarter to five. Sunday afternoon. Dirk Hartog Island. Useless fun fact. According to my boss, no more than 20 four wheel drive vehicles on the island at any one time. 